just as we use amplitude spectrums to help us determine the amplitudes of the sine waves that compose a complex wave, we also use phase spectrums to help us determine the phase or the starting point of the sine wave. So a phase spectrum is phase on the y-axis as a function of frequency on the x-axis. Where an amplitude spectrum was the amplitude as a function of frequency, phase is, a fun is phase as a function of frequency. So this picture is important. Let's go through them one by one. The top, we have sine waves, sawtooth, square, triangular waves, which we haven't spoken about yet, but they're pretty easy to understand and then our aperiodic noise. Column one, you have a waveform. Column two, you have an amplitude spectrum. And column three, you have a phase spectrum. So in the first sine wave, in our pure tone wave, we have one wave, right? And there it is in your waveform. You can determine the amplitude of it and the frequency of it because it's just one pure tone wave. So with the amplitude spectrum, you see how there's one line? because there's one wave with frequency with one frequency and one amplitude. The phase spectrum, there's one dot at zero degrees, again, because there's one wave, one pure tone wave, therefore there's one starting frequency. If you look at the one below it, we have our sawtooth wave. Remember the sawtooth wave is odd and even integer multiples of the fundamental. So when we pull apart the complex sawtooth wave, we can look at its harmonics. Remember the complex wave is periodic, so it repeats itself. So there's a harmonic relationship between the frequencies that compose it. We have a frequency at odd and even integer multiples. You can see that in the amplitude spectrum. The fundamental frequency has the most energy. Each wave after that has 6 dB less energy than the one before it. If you look at the phase spectrum, you can see all of the sine waves that compose this complex wave have the same starting frequency. And in this example, this not starting frequency, starting phase. In this example, the starting phase is 90 degrees. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six waves starting at 90 degrees. The square wave, complex, periodic, odd integer multiples. Using our spectrums, we can pull apart the sine waves that compose the complex wave. We have them at odd integer multiples, one, three, and five. They all have the same starting phase. Again, it's at 90 degrees. A triangular wave also has energy at odd integer multiples, only now the roll-off rate or the rate at which the energy decreases is steeper. With a triangular wave, the energy decreases by 12 with each subsequent harmonic. Similar to the sawtooth, the square wave in that they're odd harmonics, but the roll-off rate is steeper. So the sawtooth and the square wave have a roll-off rate of 6 dB. The triangular wave has a roll-off rate of 12 dB. All of the starting phases for the triangular wave happen to be at 0 degrees. Finally, we have our aperiodic noise, which again, like I said, is a mess. It's noise. There's energy at all frequencies. And I can see that by looking at the continuous line spectrum for the amplitude spectrum. There's energy at all frequencies, and there are all sorts of waves starting at all different phases, and that's why their dots are a mess all over the phase spectrum. So there's no order to an aperiodic wave. Most of our sounds of speech and music and things that we enjoy listening to are complex periodic sounds that have harmonic relationships. Noise is a mess and you can see that it's a mess when we look at the waveform and when we try to pull apart its components with the amplitude spectrum and the phase spectrum.